everyone, and welcome back to Drama Orama Online. I'm Mrs. Combs, and I'm so excited to be sharing this time with you today. Now, remember to have your journals handy, and our special guests, Evan and Aaron, will be joining us today. So, let's get started. For today's warm up, we're going to stretch our bodies and then release tension from our bodies. So, first, I want you to imagine that you are a tree. I want you to imagine that your arms are the branches of the tree and your fingers are the leaves and they're reaching, reaching up to try, reaching towards the sun, reaching towards the sky, trying, trying to touch the clouds. You're even reaching with your legs on your tiptoes and even though you're on your tiptoes you are planted firmly on the ground reaching 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 and release very good now we're going to imagine that we are sock monkeys now you're a sock monkey you don't have any bones, but you have enough stuffing to keep yourself upright. You are very loose and very flexible in your arms. Just really twirl those arms around and around, no tension at all. And then you're gonna swing your head side to side, no tension. Everything is swinging and loose. And then your torso will swing and loose, swing and loose. And your legs are walking, swinging and loose, swinging and loose, swaying and feeling flexible. And release. Very good. Today, we'll be focusing on the five W's in creative drama. The five W's are who. This refers to the characters in a scene. What. This refers to the characters' actions in a scene. Where and when. This refers to the setting of a scene, that is the place and the time. Why? This refers to the reasons behind what the characters are doing, their motivation and their objectives. I'm so excited that Evan and Aaron are back and here joining us to explore the five W's. Evan and Aaron, are you ready? We're ready. And now I want you to get ready to explore the five W's along with them. Let's start with who. Stand in neutral. When I say action, I want you to show me impatient artist and action. Freeze. Let's add what? Now I want you to show me impatient artist eating noodles and action. Freeze. Now let's add when and where. Now when I say action, I want you to show me impatient artist eating noodles in a restaurant on a hot afternoon and action.
Freeze. And finally, let's add why. And now when I say action, I want you to show me impatient artists eating noodles in a restaurant on a hot afternoon to enjoy the simple things. And action. Freeze. Now I want you to add words. You're going to either say one word over and over or you're gonna say a full on sentence. And action. I do enjoy the simple things. Freeze. And neutral. Well done. Let's start with who. Okay, I want you to stand in neutral. And when I say action, I want you to show me sick cheerleader and action. <coughs> Freeze. Let's add what? Okay, now when I say action, I want you to show me sick cheerleader doing yoga. And action. <coughs> Freeze. Now let's add when and where. And now when I say action, I want you to show me sick cheerleader doing yoga in outer space early in the morning. And action. <coughs> Freeze. And finally, let's add why. And now when I say action, I want you to show me sick cheerleader doing yoga in outer space early in the morning to feel better and action. Freeze. Now I want you to add words. It could be a sentence or you could say the same word over and over. And action. I feel so much better. Freeze. And neutral. Well done. Did you see and feel how the scene became more detailed and more interesting when we added each additional W? It's time for today's journal prompt. for exploring the five W's with Evan, Aaron, and me today. See you next time.